Severe storms with intense hail can cause major damage to grapevines and crop losses in vineyards. In recent years, major hail damage events occurred in the Sunraysia region on 22 November 2014 and 11 November 2016, when vines had passed fruit set with berries nearing pea size. This short Inno Grape video aims to explain the steps table grape growers should take in managing vines after hail damage to minimise losses later in the season and in the following seasons. Damaged vines should be inspected as soon as possible after a hailstorm event because the level of damage can be quickly obscured by any new growth. Table grape growers with hail damage insurance cover should contact their insurer and arrange for a formal damage assessment process to be initiated as soon as possible. For growers without hail damage insurance, assessment of the severity of damage and crop loss in a formal manner is also important to support claims for relief measures if they are provided through state government agencies. The collection of photographic evidence of damaged vines and infrastructure across each affected vineyard can be helpful in formal assessment processes. The severity of damage across a vineyard can range from low to high to severe. Symptoms can range minor leaf and can bruising through to complete stripping of leaves and fruit from the vine. Shoots can be bruised, broken and scarred, and most importantly, lateral buds containing season's fruiting buds can also be severely damaged. The main factor influencing the choice of management strategy post hail damage is the severity of damage. If the hail damage assessment indicates a significant and economic amount of fruit is salvageable, then the best management strategy is to simply leave the fruit there and let the canopy reshoot and grow. It should be noted this in table grapes that even seemingly minor damage to berries within a cluster can result in time consuming and expensive hand trimming later in the season to ensure a blemish-free product being saleable in markets. If hail damage is severe, vines have sustained substantial damage to the current season's shoots, and most of the fruit is also damaged and unsalvageable. Close examination of damaged shoots, canes and cordons is essential to determine the amount of wounding and make decisions about subsequent vine management strategies. In trials conducted in Sunraysia on cane prune table grape varieties, the best management strategy involved removing the damaged bearers and spur pruning damaged shoots in the crown of vines back to two buds. This results in the growth of new fruitful bearers for the following season and simplified the pruning in winter. A table grape grower's main aim of vine management after hail damage is to regrow and retain a healthy canopy of strong shoots that will bear fruit in the following season and also to maintain an appropriate pest and disease management strategy that will prevent the development of botrytis rot, powdery mildew and trunk diseases. This video is brought to you by InnoGrape, a table grape extension program supported by the Australian Table Grape Association, with funding from the Foundation for Rural and Regional Renewal and the William Buckland Foundation.